Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate WordPress and Zoho CRM. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new user is registered in WordPress, it will automatically add a lead in Zoho CRM. Now WordPress is a powerful hosting platform and Zoho CRM is an excellent sales CRM tool. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from WordPress to Zoho CRM. But there is one minor problem. Of course, there is some kind of integration between WordPress and Zoho CRM. But this native integration is actually very limited. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate WordPress and Zoho CRM. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as WordPress to Zoho CRM. WordPress to Zoho CRM and then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as WordPress? This one. Okay, so now in the trigger event, we want to send the data when a new user registers himself. So I'm making it as new user registers. Okay, so user register is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new user registers himself, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like post updated, post trash, post deleted, user login, user deleted, new comments and so on. All of them are bunch of trigger events. Now, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the ratepabri.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new user registers himself in WordPress. Okay, so basically the gist is we are trying to integrate WordPress to Pabli Connect. So basically the gist of the process is we are going to integrate WordPress to Pabli Connect. So before we do that, uh, let me copy this. Okay, so basically we have to install a plugin and the name of the plugin is uh, WP Webhooks. I'm just copying this. Okay, and then I'm going to go to this part called as plugins and just click on install plugins. Okay, so I'm just clicking on search and just pasting it, it here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, WP Webhooks is already, this plugin is already installed in my system. And if you don't have it installed in your system, all you have to do is just click on add new and open this in a new tab. Okay, and just search for the plugin that you want to install. So this case, in this case is WP Webhook. Okay, so uh, actually, in my case, it is already installed as you can see. Okay, so after have uh, you have installed this plugin, uh, all you have to do is just go to the settings. Okay, so this is the landing page of WP Webhook. So go to this part called as settings, click this. Okay, so scroll down. So basically, we want to send the data when a new user registers. So just toggle this to the right. Okay, and just scroll down and just click on save all. Okay, so this is our new settings. So now we have to create a webhook. So just click on send data. Okay, so it is showing the option send data on register. Click this. Okay, so as you can see already a webhook has been installed, uh, created. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this webhook. Okay, so I can show you how a webhook should be created. So I'm going to give a name to this webhook. I'm going to give it as Zoho 
CRM because we are going to send the data to Zoho CRM that is why we are giving the name as Zoho CRM and now in the webhook URL you basically have to go to public connect and copy this this is the webhook URL you want copy this and simply paste it here okay so we have given the name that is Zoho CRM and then we have uh, entered or pasted the webhook URL just click on add okay so basically our webhook is ready so now it basically means that uh, WordPress is now integrated with Pabli Connect. This means whenever a new user registers himself, Pabli Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Pabli Connect captures this data, let me go to Pabli Connect and click on this button, Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to register myself as a new user. So uh, first of all, we have to go to web pages. Okay, so I have made an account page. So I'm just going to go to that page and register myself. So where is my page? Okay, so this is the page, my account page. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Okay, and I'm going to log out of this uh, present account. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to scroll down and go to Meta and register myself. Okay, so the name of the person is uh, Bruce. Bruce Wayne, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is the username and uh, the email is uh, okay uh, ironman12345 at the rate gmail.com okay so this is the email and the first name is uh, pepper and the last name is uh, stark okay so the first name is pepper the last name is stark this is the email ironman12345 at the rate gmail.com and this is the username so let me click on register to register this uh, dummy person Okay, so a person has been registered. Okay, so let's have a look in Pabli Connect. Has it captured this data or not? Okay, so as you can see, these are the details. So user login is a Bruce Wayne one two three four five six. This is the email Ironman one two three four five at the gmail dot com, and then we have the first name as Pepper and the last name as Stark. Excellent. So basically, that's a way to sufficient to create a lead in Zoho CRM. So all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as uh, Zoho CRM? Okay, because we want to create a lead in Zoho CRM. That is why. Now in the action event, how about we click on create a lead? Then click on connect with Zoho CRM. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Zoho CRM. Okay, so now it is asking for the domain. So let me show you my Zoho CRM account. So this is my Zoho CRM account. Okay, so let me refresh it and basically this is my domain so i'm just uh, copying this zoho.com and just pasting it here okay so just click on done okay so now public connect is demanding access to my zoho account uh, before you click on accept let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us okay so on the basis of that trust just click on accept okay so it is showing the authorization is successful just click on okay so as you can see a set of uh, blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blank is very simple we are going to create a lead from the data that we have received from uh, wordpress via public connect so before uh, we do that let me show you this button this is called as the mapping button so when we click this we can just enter the detail for example uh, we don't have any data regarding the company but uh, so we can just ignore it okay so or how about we just enter the name of the username that was uh, Bruce Wayne 123456 it's kind of wrong but we don't have any data regarding the company so we are just entering Bruce Wayne 123456 now in the first name we can just uh, enter the name that was uh, Pepper okay this was the name and the last name was uh, Stark I guess okay so this was the last name so we can scroll down and we can also enter the email we can just map the email okay so email is uh, ironman12345 at the rate gmail.com okay so we don't have any data regarding the phone number the fax mobile website lead source is basically um, web research okay the lead status i'm making it as contacted the industry is uh, 
large enterprise okay and then in the annual uh, revenue annual salary or annual revenue we don't have any data regarding that so i'm just making it as zero okay so basically we have entered all the details we don't have any details regarding the city state country zip code description or trigger all we have to do is at this point is just click on save and send test request to create a lead in zoho crm okay so the api response is showing the data has been sent as lead so let's have a look so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to refresh uh, soho crm so this is the leads page of uh, soho crm so let's have a look whether we have a lead called as pepper stock yes we do have a lead called as pepper stock and the company she works is in bruce spain one two three four five six and this is the email okay so the presence of this lead shows that we have successfully integrated uh, wordpress and zoho crm with help of public connect so what i'm going to do here is right now i'm just going to uh, minimize my action window in public connect and minimize my trigger window in public connect and then i'm going to explain you the whole process in a nutshell so what we have done here is we have integrated wordpress to uh, public connect and then you have integrated public connect to zoho crm so now there is a perfect flow of data between wordpress and zoho crm excellent so we are going to make uh, one more entry we, we are going to make uh, one more registration as a new uh, um, new person in our uh, wordpress account okay so uh, we are just going to login page then click on register so these are the details so the details are as follows uh, the username can be spacey x123 and the email is uh, elon musk and bill gates 123 at the rate gmail.com okay the first name is uh, elon eloni and the last name is billy okay so these are the details just click on register okay excellent so our registration has been made by this guy called as eloni billy okay so let's have a look in the leads whether we have a guy called as eloni okay so i have refreshed zoho crm so let's have a look Yes, there is a guy called as Eloni Billy. Yes, so this means our integration is working absolutely fine. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.